Okay, I'm driving through the north end of Tacoma here. And um, I was just thinking, you know, at all the videos I made for Whitey Town documentary, I've been through the north end, I've been through Lakewood, I've been through Milton Fife. And I have had mo the most trouble from the people from the University of Washington. I don't know what it is about those people, but they are some of the most racist, meanest, Nazi, uh, rude, threatening. I got a, a, a comment the other day. This guy said he wanted to break my camera and all this stuff, and he knows where I live. And I mean, these people are really psychotic. And uh, I guess they don't have nothing better to do than to just stalk my channel all the time, leaving me all these messages, and um, I guess it's not no freedom of speech left in the world. I don't even, I, I look at the video and I don't see what there was anything wrong with what I said in my personal opinion, but I guess it must um, really irk people in that area because, I, like I said, I haven't had any trouble anywhere else. And um, I feel like, you know, the more haters you have, the more people, you know, are, are actually just mad and jealous because they couldn't do what you did or they, you know, because he could go out there and make his own documentary, and, you know, and no one's stopping him, but yet he's still coming over my page all the time. He has no views, no subscribers, but that's, you know, just the way these people are, I guess. They work for the elites and they try to intimidate you. But I'm not going to let it stop me and I'm um, on my way to this. Oh, should I haven't been here in so long? I thought this used to be a store, but they, you know, these big major stores are closing every store. Um, but I wanted to come here. And I thought this was a store I used to go to a long time ago, but I guess they closed it. And now it's a hardware store. So that's the way that it goes. I haven't been out here in a long time. So, what, the only store you can go to is like Albertsons or Safeway and, you know, if it's not a major store, you... Because people with disabilities, you know, it's hard for them to walk around all these big stores. They don't have carts and everything and, I, you know, like a little bit more um, easier store to maneuver in. But obviously, I'm not, I must be the only person. Um, so, you know, all these Walmarts and these major corporations are just shutting everything down and just making us go to one place. So I'm real disappointed, but I should have known. They they closed down Save-A-Lot. They closed down um, other stores, a couple other stores, the smaller ones. There used to be... Um, I think there was like a QFC over there on 56 by Yakima or somewhere and they closed that. They closed the hilltop one, they closed the one next to the Dollar Tree. Um, so, I'm trying to just find reasonable priced meat and I don't want to have to drive all the way to Walmart every time I want to shop and after, actually it's, it's inconvenient, it's not even close to me. and. You know the gas alone I waste, and then the time is in that store it takes forever just to get a few things. So that's very disappointing. But um. I guess in the nicer areas, they don't really need to save money. I mean, they're just, you know, like, there's so much more money that they have um, that they really, um, you know, don't care about saving money. That's why you'll go into the nicer areas, and if you go to the Dollar Trees in those areas, you won't find any food in, like, a freezer section or hardly any, like, you know, like they have in other stores in the in the poorer areas, because they know um, why would they you know need to go shop and save money when you know they pay all the uh, expensive prices. They get the organic. That's why there's always a Trader Joe's and a Walmart, 
you know, in nicer areas and more affluent areas because they um, figure, well, they have the money to buy food. They're, you know, they're going to get more customers and um, they're looking for that market. I mean, they're not trying to get the market of the poor people, you know, who are on food stamps or WIC or whatever. So they just, you know, bypass the poor areas where the people really need to save that really need to go to Walmart because they can't afford to go to Albertsons and Fred Myers and all the expensive places. Um, but of course, you know, that is just another game that's played by corporate America. So the, you know, they, they build these big mega stores and then they put them only in the rich people areas and then we can't even access them. Um, and we have to pay, you know, higher prices for produce and I mean I guess that keeps the status quo that keeps them rich it's just like with the cable too you know they have all these cable you know deals signed up you get this or that or you know with you know not Xfinity but other places that are cheaper but when you go to call them they all won't service like lower income areas because they are not trying to let us save money of course not they're only trying to work with um, you know, white America, influent, you know, people who are already doing well and they're just, just keeping them at that level and trying to take us down. So, it's just real frustrating the way things are set up. Just like now, I try to get my um, tabs and um, the guy said I have to get my emissions test and my car only has like 20,000 miles on it. And I said, well, don't you guys even take in consideration like the mileage on a car? And so they just do all these emission tests on cars that have low miles. So let's say you buy a car, you don't drive it, you still got to take it in. And there's no box you could check to, to send back saying that, you know, you have, you know, a certain amount of miles that you should you should be exempt. Be because, of course, they're, they just want to get the money, get the money, and just require people to do things they really don't need to do that their car really doesn't need. Um, but they can't, you know, come up with that because that would be like too much work, I guess, to have to process and put the information in the computer saying that your car, you know, has such a low amount that you're exempt from getting. Um, because really the whole purpose of getting the um, emissions test is because you have a lot of miles in your car, you know, is having troubles, it's polluting the earth, you know, the air environment and everything. So if you don't have a lot of miles in your car, obviously is not looting much and so it's kind of a waste of people's time um, but you know they don't consider all any of that stuff it's just just like they close the emission place that's right next to the place where you get your tabs um, at the assessment office over there by behind Costco and now why would you close the place where the, you get the emissions that's right down the street that's conveniently located no they only keep Lakewood they keep five and um, so you know that just shows it's ridiculous that they didn't I mean anyone could have surveyed the people working there anyone would have said please keep the one open where the place you gotta go near near um, but, you know, that's just the way the government, I guess, runs. They don't really care about convenience or really servicing their customers. So now I have to go out of my way with expired tabs and drive through Fife. Now, think about this. They divert you to Fife on purpose, knowing that Fife has record high tickets. They swarm day and night on people, trying to catch them with expired tabs. And then um, I guess they want to, you know, give them sh a show or something, sending people through there um, with expired tabs. And so when you have your tabs are expired, you have to get a temporary um, little paper that says you can go on this day and you have to do it on the exact day. And of course, everybody, you know, can know what day. I mean, they should at least give you some sort of time period, you know, within something this day or that couple days in between. But no, so now if I don't go on this day, I have to go back to the place and get another paper. And I mean, they just set things up to inconvenience people the, the most way that they can. And it's not um, set up for the, the first people that are using the system. And it's set up more for the convenience of the employees or maybe for them to catch another buck, you know, makes racking some more tickets or um, 
who knows, you know, what it is, but it just seems real strange to me, and, um, I was rather disappointed that now I have to take another step in another process to go and get my tabs, and I was really looking forward to getting them on my car today, but now, um, you know, I'm going to have to do it next week, and I'm thinking I'm just going to have my mom drive the car, because I know the five police are just waiting to try to pull me over and bother me and mess with me, and um, I'm not going to give them that pleasure, um, because I know they profile people, and especially minorities, and um, I'm really not looking forward to that, so I just hope my mom doesn't have any problems, and I'm just going to follow her and try to get that straightened out, so that's just another hurdle that I'm facing.